we've always been good at it. We, we've we've uh, we had success in short yardage last year. We had success this year. Um, those guys were a little different. Uh, sometimes they're going to win their their uh, uh, one on one battles. Sometimes we win. So it's not necessarily to do things different. It just happened in that game. We were in positions to score a couple times where we traditionally would score touchdowns, and that's really was the big glaring. That was the glaring side of what happened in the game. Defense gave up one big play where we got out of uh, coverage down the sideline. Other than that, played pretty good against a good team. Um, offensively, if you punch in and get those touchdowns, don't kick field goals, it's a different game. A week ago, you said 32 carries was probably too much for you, but you had 37 <clears throat> Saturday, LD had one. I know they doubled Kylan over the top. How do you alleviate some of that from Chuba? I don't know. Uh, uh, that's five more than I thought was too many. <laughs> so, uh, there's, it, trust me, it's been a conversation. Um, we want to keep him healthy. We want him to be fresh. But um, uh, he's clearly the best runner. So, uh, we, we do what we think we need to do to give us the best chance to score points. But it's not like it's not something that hadn't been discussed. Is part of it, Mike, I know you guys have liked what you saw in the spring and, and at times when they've been healthy of Jamil and uh, Desmond. Is part of it not being able to get them out there and, and see what they're capable of as far as finding an alternate back? Well, those guys haven't been um, in a position to practice, and so it's hard to get guys ready to play when they can't practice. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty easy answer. Uh, they're back now practicing, so we should get a better feel for how some of those guys are doing.